Hi, this is Everett, Everett's Watercolors. Welcome to my studio and uh, today's uh, demonstration on watercolors. I'm broadcasting live from uh, Chesapeake, Virginia and uh, studio with my wife, Gloria. Hello, everyone. And I'm broadcasting out to uh, YouTube, uh, link, LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitch. And uh, I'll also, I'll be doing Instagram. I'll be putting out on a, a post, uh, post video a replay. Okay, well today, uh, I'm welcome aboard. I hope you all had a, a happy holiday, and uh, we're looking forward to uh, New Year's Eve coming up. So, uh, in the meantime, we're, let's go over, I'm going to give you a nice little class today. Uh, what I'm going to do today, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to be doing a painting, but I'm going to be using a palette knife. Now, usually palette knives are used with oils or with acrylics, but uh, I've also uh, used them in, in, in the past and uh, recently. Uh, use, the, use them to paint the, with watercolor. I'm going to show you how to do that today. So uh, let me go over to my uh, my painting table and let me get started. Okay, well this is the subject matter today. It's a landscape, pretty simple. It's a, a tree line with uh, some some uh, grass and so forth. But I'm going to make this into a more interesting painting with uh, with palette knives. So that's that's the uh, reference photograph. And uh, this is my design drawing. You see here, I got the I got the sky, and a background. There's a background row of trees, and I've got the ma uh, main trees here in the middle ground, and then the foreground has just got some grass on it. Okay, and I've gone ahead and did a uh, did a color study. I'm going to have the back the background row of trees are going to be a, a light value, then the middle ground is going to have a little darker value in the middle ground, and then there'll be a graded a graded values here. In the foreground, going from dark to light. So uh, this this uh, photograph and uh, my drawing will be on my website and also uh, fun with watercolors. And uh, you can paint along with me uh, and post your results or post your painting on uh, fun with watercolors on uh, my Facebook page, uh, Everest Watercolors Art Group. And those links will be uh, in the video description today after the video. Let me put this aside, and I've transferred this to uh, a quarter sheet. Now this is 300 pound watercolor paper. And I've got a little heavier paper today because I want to do a, a little scraping and so forth, and uh, it holds a lot more water and so forth. But it's it's a heavy duty, heavy duty uh, watercolor paper, 300 pound. I usually normal I usually normal my normal weight is 140 pound. This is 300 pound Gemini watercolor paper, and I've transferred the drawings over here. Uh, to the uh, watercolor paper. Now in my draw on my palette now you'll see I've got the palette laid out normally but I'm going to be using uh, I'm going to be using paints right out of the tube and uh, for example uh, cerulean blue I'm going to what I'm going to in order for me to use the palette knives I'm going to put the I'm going to put the paint right here right on the palette. Put that aside. So I might. I don't think I'm going to need any more of that. But I'll put that aside. Uh, so uh, cerulean blue, and I've got uh, I got royal blue here now. This is a real dark blue. So that's going to. I'm going to put that over here on this side or this area. And uh, you'll see why I'm spreading those out here on the palette uh, when I get the palette knife on, because palette knives you have to move move stuff around, and you need need a lot of space to work. Uh, down here, I've got the green number two. Use a little bit of green number two for the grass and so forth down at the bottom. Again, I'm going to put that on the palette. And so I'm just spreading the I'm just spreading the paint out here on my palette. Uh, this is a little bit of uh, burnt sienna, right down here at the bottom. Don't need too much of that, but I'll have a little bit of burnt sienna. I'm putting the paints over here along the side, and a little bit of uh, yellow ochre here for the for the uh, dry grass at the bottom of the painting. A little bit of yellow ochre, Get that down there. Okay, so I got the I got the palette. Now I got the palette laid with all of my uh, colors laid out on the palette. Just spread them out. And I'm not going to use the uh, I'm not going to use the wells. I'm going to use the palette itself with the paint on. Now let me take you over here to my to my left. I got some more. Show, I want to show you my close up camera. And I've got a I've got an assortment of palette knives, uh, different sizes. I have the smaller ones with the points. Uh, you can see they got the, they're angled so you can, your hand will fit in your hand. 
and uh, you can use them for movement on the paper and so forth, okay? And uh, a different, this one here is like a blade, uh, which has got a, a, a bigger blade and it's got some angles to it and so forth, it's very interesting. And then I've got some, I got several here that look, look like spatulas, but they're a flat, they got a flat surface to them, but they're very nice for spreading out over an air like the sky and so forth. You'll see me use that that way, okay? And here's several other, several other shapes here, so where you can find all kinds of shapes uh, when, you go to, when you, on, on, you go to an art store or, or you buy them online, you'll see all kinds of shapes of paddle knives. But I, I, like, I like the point of the ones here. You'll see me why, you'll see why I'm using it. And uh, I, like this, I like this edged one with the edges. Uh, and of course, these all three, all three kinds I have here. Bigger, bigger size and smaller size. Okay, and I'm going to leave the paper I'm going to go back to the uh, overhead so you can see the paper and the, and the process I'm going to do. Move this over to the side here. Okay, now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the sky. And uh, I'm going to use the palette in the bottle, dot sprayer, which is sold exclusively on Everest watercolors. I'm going to use that today to uh, wet my paper a little bit. So, uh, on, uh, the dot spray, I'm just going to put some, I'm going to start with the sky up here. I'm going to add some, put a little water up here in the sky just to get started. To wet the paper a little bit. There we go. Uh, and then I'm going to take the uh, I'm going to take this flat palette knife, and I'm going to uh, uh, here's how you load it. Just just you put it down into the palette. Like I have it here, and you you kind of lay it flat, and you pick up the paint on the on the bottom of the on the palette. You can see that there on the bottom of the palette. Okay. So I'm going to lay it flat and load it, load it all the way down. And now I'm going to, what I'm going to do now, this is the sky. So I'm going to go ahead and put up here with, with the water I've already done. And I'm just going to spread this across. Go down and load some more. I'm going to change, I'm going to change another, get another palette knife also. Load this one. I'm going to put a little more water. Now, this is 300 pound paper, so it, it takes a lot more water to wet, to wet the pad. So, I'm going to put just a few more drops of paint, paint, uh, water on there with the dot spray bottle. Now, this, uh, what I'm using, I'm using a scraping motion on the side, using the side of the palette knife, using a scraping motion, bring that across. And that's going to simulate. That's going to simulate the sky colors. It's going to look like little clouds up there in the sky, but it's just like a rough application there of the colors. Okay. So you load the knife by putting it into the puddle, and then you scrape it. You scrape it on the paper. You scrape, scrape it on the paper, or if you had canvas, you could use canvas also. Okay. And then I'm going to put a little more water up there, just just to spread that around a little bit more. Wet that up. This 300-pound paper really picks up uh, picks up a lot of uh, takes up absorbs a lot of paper, a lot of water. So you have to get it really nice and wet. Okay, now I'm make some. I'm gonna make some horizontal strokes here to make it give it a little more of a uh, a cloud and a sky more. Uh, We give horizontal, more horizontal motions here to give it more of a cloud type, cloud and sky type uh, uh, color coloration. Okay, all right. Now I'm going to uh, I'm going to pick up another one here. I got another blade I'm going to use. Now I'm going to paint the uh, background trees, and what I'm going to use there, I'm going to use a little bit of uh, Payne's gray, and you see me here. I'm going to get it out, get it in the palette here. But I don't want it very dark, so what I do is take that and I'm going to mix put a little bit of water with it, make a nice light value. So that's a light, and I just lay the palette knife down on top of it. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to put the uh, background trees in. So what I'm going to do, I may, uh, may switch them. I may switch another switch another blade over here. So I'm going to use, I'm going to use this angle blade now. So 
So you might try I might try another one. I'm gonna try several of these here be, so I get the right right mix I want. I'm washing off the I'm washing off the uh, blade as I go as I change as I change paint. I'm uh, wiping off the. So I lay I lay the paddle knife into the into the mix, flat, and that loads it loads the paddle knife. Then I go in I then I go into the paper. And I'm here I'm using more of a scraping motion. And I'm filling in those that background colors, which are going to be a light gray for the background trees. Okay, now I'm going to pick up the, this, now this pal knife here with the edges on, I'm going to go ahead and load it up again with that uh, uh, Payne's Gray. Now what I do, I'm going to load the edge now, I'm going to load the edge. Don't want to get this too dark, I, want, I don't want this, the, back, the background trees, I want to have lighter. I'm going to go in here now, I'm going to go, going to go in there and put a little more. Now I'm turning the knife around, different angles. There's a horizon line here and, and so forth. Uh, put the horizon line in. So I'm loading up the knife from the side. I'm, losing, I'm also loading the edge, the edge of the knife. Then I'm just bringing it on here and rubbing it onto the paper. This is dry paper also. Uh, you know, that's, I wet the sky first. It makes the it makes the uh, plant flow a little easier. Here I'm here I'm scraping on dry paper, so it's going to take a little more a little more work to get the, uh, the the texture I want back here in the background trees. These are background trees. So I'm going to mark that horizontal line, and I can also load the uh, load the edge of the brush, edge of the blade, and I can draw that line. I'm using the edge. I'm using the edge of the using the edge of the uh, palette knife to get the edge. I'm, I'm working. I'm working on defining the uh, the horizon line here. A little bit of lights and darks there for the background trees. And now I'm going to work a little bit on the edges. Uh, let's see. Now I'm going to change knives now. So I'm going to I'm going to use a smaller, a smaller pointed knife. And this one works for smaller areas. I'm going to work here. Now I load load the brush. I load up the uh, palette knife the same way. Lay it, lay it into the puddle, flat. Load it up. And you can see the bottom of the knife gets uh, loaded with uh, watercolor. And it's uh, it's pretty liquefied. I got. Uh, uh, quite a bit of water in the palette here, so it's it's a, a light a light mix. So what I'm doing is I'm simulating that background. I'm getting that background edge here of the trees here in the background. So I'm just trying to get the little little variety going back there. Some over here. Now I'm going to mark that horizon line even more. I'm going to get that horizon line pretty, pretty prominent here. So I'm using the edge. I'm using the edge of the knife. I'm loading. I'm loading by laying it flat in the in the puddle on the pallet, and then I'm coming in. I'm scraping. On the bottom here of the, of the horizon line and moving up. Okay, okay, that's going to be dark enough for that. All right, now we'll let that one dry up there. All right, now I think uh, what I'll do is I'll let that, uh, let that settle. And uh, I think the next thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and get a wash going down here in the, in the foreground. 
So in the foreground, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to use the water. I'm going to use the uh, uh, dot spray bottle, paddle in the bottle. And I'm going to put a little bit of water down here. Get some water started. That makes that'll make the uh, the paint flow a lot easier, a lot faster. Okay, now I'm going to take a, I'm going to take a little bit of that. I'm going to move down here to the uh, yellow ochre. And I'm using a I'm using a large flat knife. I'm going to load up the bottom. I'm going to lay lay the I'll lay the paddle knife in the puddle. Then I'm going to drag that across here. In a horizontal direction. Okay, this is that. This will be that uh, grass, the brown grass here. That's uh, in the fore, in the from the middle ground all the way to the foreground. Uh, this grassy field. So I'm kind of spreading it. It's like spreading like. I'm, I'm, I, the only way I can describe it is like spreading like butter on a, on a toast. Just, just laying the just laying it flat on, just dragging it across the paper, and I get all this texture and all this movement that I have in the painting. Okay, and it gives me lots of variety. And I actually took my painting eyes with me uh, last weekend, and, and I did a I did a plain air I did I did a plain air uh, palette knife painting with a smaller palette. And uh, it was a smaller painting, but the same idea, same techniques were involved. Okay, now we'll let that dry up there a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to go back. Now I'm going to start working on these uh, the main trees up here. Uh, these larger trees. Now, if you remember the photograph here I've got these I've got these larger I've got these larger trees here and then I've got these uh, these bare trees here in the in the middle ground bare trees and these large they're evergreen trees right here so I'm going to start with I'm going to start with some of the evergreen trees and I'm going to uh, now I'm going to use some of this uh, royal royal blue which is really really a strong blue and I pick up a little bit of uh, I got a little bit of uh, quinacridone violet over here also so I mix a little blue in with that and I'm going to go in now and start putting in some color. And what I think I'll do, I'll move, well, before I go to that knife, I'm going to use the square, the uh, angle knife again. Of course, the angle knife is just the biggest one I have. So cover, cover a large area. And by uh, moving it to the sides, using, I'm loading it up on the side of the brush. And then use a scraping motion on the paper. And also, I'm working on uh, capturing those edges of the trees. And this tall, there's a big, tall evergreen tree right here, and I can turn this knife around and get the edge, edge of the trees. But right now, I want to fill in that, basically, that, get that shape filled in. And I'm just scrape. I'm picking up the uh, paint off the palette, and then coming up up to the paper and scraping it in, using a scraping motion on the side. Okay, so I got that started there. That's one start. And I, there's another tree over here, a smaller tree here. So basically, uh, I got an outline. I drew the outline in there from uh, on my sketch, from my uh, sketch plan. And then uh, now I'm just uh, filling in the outline of the shape that I have. So there's a there's a smaller tree over here on this end, on this end of the painting, and it comes down to the horizon line. Okay, then there's a larger tree at the end. So the art, this tree here, I mix a little bit more of that. Uh, I'm not going to violet in with that uh, royal blue, and I got a really a real dark color. There's a tree here on the end that kind of overlaps. So I'm, this is kind of like a blocking in process with a with a paintbrush, 
if you were, if, we were, if I was blocking in the colors, I'd be putting these colors in with uh, a large brush to block in the shapes. And I'm going to come across here now with one more large evergreen tree over here on the end on this side. So I'll get that one in. So I load the brush with the side of the of the uh, palette knife, and I'm going to go in and just kind of lay it down on the paper. And I'm going to scrape it. It's a scraping motion. I'm using the corner of the blade. The bottom corner and I use the top corner there's a top corner so this is a very handy little this is a very handy uh, palette knife because it, I can move it in different directions and get a nice variety of shapes and this is this uh, knife here is good for laying in larger areas like I'm doing now these uh, these trees are pretty big uh, bigger shapes of the painting So this is a blocking in process of uh, putting in the, uh, ma the main shapes up here of the painting, which is these large uh, evergreen trees. Okay. Now there's also, uh, what I want to do now, there's some of uh, these bare trees. I'm going to use the edge of the knife, load the edge, and I'm going to just go ahead and press it in and then move it up and down and get that edge. And there's one over here. Let me get my. I get a look at my drawing here. Uh, referring to my design drawing, I've got. Uh, I've got several of these bare trees here. I'm going to put here in the in the, in the uh, painting now. Uh, so I'm using now. I'm using the edge. I'm unloading the edge of the knife. And I'm pressing it down and getting those starting and getting the uh, the tree trunks started. I got one here, and I've got another one over here. And I've got a third tree over here. Okay, all right. Now I'm gonna put that knife aside. Now I'm gonna pick up my uh, little pointed, my little pointed uh, knife. This is the one that does all the de this does all the detail work. So I'm gonna go in here now. I'm gonna build up these trunks a little bit, get them a little bit sturdier. And I use the tip. I load the tip of the knife. Now I can go in now. I can I can draw on the branches, just by and I hold it vertically, loaded with loaded with paint. You can see I can get the. Uh, the design of these branches on this particular treetop. So by loading up the tip of the of the of the uh, knife, now I can do the detail work of the. This is like losing a fine a fine brush. With brushes. And I, Got one more. I got this one over here to work on. So just by holding the, by loading the end of the knife and then holding it vertically, and then drag that shape up. And I'm actually, actually drawing with the, I'm drawing with the uh, palette knife. And I draw the shapes of those of those branches going back into the palette loading up make sure you gotta reload the this reminds me of doing a, a dip pen where you have to dip into the ink a lot to do a paint to do a drawing same idea okay now I'm gonna build these uh, brand, I'm gonna build these uh, trunks up a little bit now make them a little bit sturdier looking so now I'm going in now modifying uh, or adding, enhancing, and then adding a little more definition to these trees now. I'm loading the brush again. I'm loading the uh, knife again. And it's loaded. You can see it's loaded with paint. You see it's loaded with paint. And I turn up, I turn up down. I'm pressing down on it now. And that gives me the, 
the mark that I want to give me a a, a wider a wider mark on the page on the paper. Go back and load again. So by and I add add more water to this. Uh, it doesn't. Uh, you don't want the paint doesn't have to be really thick. You want to have enough pigment in there, but you and, and lots of water because then the water will make it flow better. Okay, these are old winter trees now with the with the branches all showing. I assume over here I want to get this one better. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in some more branches here now. And uh, I'm going to refer to the photograph. You can see there's a lot of bare branches up here at the top of the trees. Crossed here. Those, bran those the trees have lots of bare branches. So I'm going to go ahead and put those in. Uh, and this one here. So just by loading, just by loading the uh, palette knife, this this point, this little pointed uh, palette knife really works well. I'm loading it with loading it with lots of paint, and now I'm just going in and putting in those fine, those fine branches on the end of this tree here, these end of these limbs. And this one over here, I'm going to do the same same operation over here. A little more, I'm going to put a little more water and you know, mixing a little bit more water with the palette. I'm dipping a knife into my water bucket and just picking it up. And then, uh, Okay. This little tree over here, uh, these bear trees. These are fun. These are fun to paint. I, I this I have a lot. I have a lot of fun to. This is like drawing with a pen or a pencil. And uh, I think that this this combination here. Once you get the uh, once you get the the, uh, the knife loaded with paint, then it then it's a then it's a matter of drawing with the edge or with the tip. Make that a little bit wider now to compensate for that extra. Okay, now I'm going. To, now I'm going to take the, the same knife. Now I'm going to go in. Now I'm going to clean up some of the edges of the of the larger trees. Now, so I'm picking up some of the same color, dark, dark color here. Now, now I'm going to clean up some of the edges here on the uh, these larger evergreen trees. This little this little pointed uh, pal this little pointed palette knife really uh, does a good job on making. Detail. So the ed edge of these uh, edge of these uh, evergreen trees uh, popping out here. And I, I also have room here to you know cover up the uh, in the background here to kind of come forward on the tree. Now this tree here, I'm going to bring a little bit forward of the horizon line. This one's a little bit forward, so I'm going to bring it a little bit down to show that it's a little bit closer.
Yeah, work on this little this little tree over here uh, toward the end over here on the right. Uh, then this one on the on the very right, very far right here comes down. Also, it's just a little bit forward of that little one. So I'll bring it down. And the last one over here is on the left, on the left side. Is a little, I added, I added this in the composition, I added this in there because I wanted to have another, another evergreen tree, but I wanted it over here to the left to kind of block block off the left side and I'm going to bring this one forward just a little bit also just a little bit forward of the horizon line Moving up that knife on the side, using the side edge of the edge of the knife to transfer the paint, and using the tip of the knife to do a little detail on the edges. Thicker paint, add a little water to it to uh, so it can move a little easier. Then I'm going to uh, add a little definition here to this uh, little bushes back here in the background just to give a little interest here in the background and there's, <coughs> there's a, a lot of bushes right here so I'm going to add some bushes here well, just by dragging a knife loading up on the side and then dragging the edge of the knife add, some, add a little bush little, little bushes here at the bottom of this tree here filling in the filling in the horizon lines little little dark uh, bushes along the edge on the edge of the grass And the thing about using a pilot knife is that uh, you, you cannot, you, you, don't want, you don't want very uh, precise work. You want to keep it rough and rugged looking, which makes it even more interesting. All the shapes are different and uh, so forth. Okay, uh, what I want to do now is uh, finish off the uh, foreground. So I'm going to take this, uh, let's see, I'll leave that one alone. I'll, uh, what I do, in order to keep the, keep the pilot knife clean, uh, put it in the put it in a rinse bucket, and then I have a I have a towel over here on the on the side that I use it to wipe off with and keep it keep it clean. It's just like it's like keeping the brushes clean. You want to have something here, either paper towel, but I have an, an old uh, terry cloth towel that I use for uh, uh, cleaning the palette knives. Uh, now down here at the bottom, I'm going to put a little bit of that green. I, I got some uh, green number one here, so I'm going to go ahead and put some of that in. Uh, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'll use the uh, spray bottle. So I'm going to take the spray bottle, wet the wet the paper with some drops. Pat on the bottle. Dot spray. So exclusively on Everest watercolors. It comes in really handy. And uh, now this this is going to be the green grass that's out there a little bit along the edge. There isn't much of it, but there's a little bit. So it indicates here using a side of knife, loading it with a side of knife, and then I'm transferring it to this wet paper down here at the bottom. Now I'll take up a little burnt, a little bit of burnt sienna down here. I have burnt, a little bit of burnt sienna in the, in the on the palette. So I'll take a little bit of that brown, 
some yellow ochre, kind of mix that in. Because there's, there's green grass here, but there's also the brown, the grass is also brown. It's not all, all green. Okay, now I want to go in and, uh, let's see. Bring a little bit of that blue, and I'm mixing, the, now I'm mixing the paint on the brush, on the uh, palette. And I'm going to come in here and finish up the bottom here. Okay, now I'm going to take this uh, uh, pointed knife again. And uh, I'm going to take that... Uh, that green, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some gra grass marks in here now, uh, uh, which is just the point of the, just using the point of the paddle knife and using crisscross strokes. Yeah, I've got some white paper in there. I could be, uh, I think what I'll do here, I'll take this, I'll take this bigger knife. Uh, what I'll do here now, let's see, I want to make an interesting color here, so it's more or less, I'm going to use the palette color I have here, and I'm just going to, I'm just going to scrape that across here, I might add a little water, I might add just a touch of water to the dot spray bottle, uh, and I'm loading, I'm, I mixed a little bit of the brown, a little bit of the green in with this yellow ochre. And I'm just going to drag that across here. Kind of feeling this is all grass, this is all weeds and grass and, and uh, so forth. So I'm just going to drag it in here and just put it in color. Uh, I use vertical strokes, I use horizontal strokes. Wiping across back and forth. So I say it's almost like buttering, buttering bread, bread <laughs> putting butter on the on a bread or a bread knife. Yeah, putting that yellow ochre in with that green kind of tones that uh, green down a little bit because I don't want this to be a summer scene. I don't want it to be a winter scene. Okay, now going back to the uh, palette knife now with the the sharp edge, the small one. I'm going to put in some uh, indication of, of grass down here. And you can see when, it, when the, the wetter portions here, I'm just dragging. It'll be a little fuzzy here. That's good. It won't have a lot of definition. And over here where it's starting to get a little bit drier, you can see I'm making marks in, on the paper. Uh, actually, I guess you're using... Uh, Scratching marks here on the on the right side over here. It gives a little different, a little variation. So it'll be grass, just tall grass at the bottom of the painting. Okay. Now, just for uh, just just for final final touches. Uh, or some final touches. I'm going to put some, a little bit of uh, shadows here. So I'm going to use a little bit of this, a uh, little bit of uh, Payne's gray, mix in a little bit of the blue here. And I'm going to put in some shadow patterns uh, across the grass. Kind of break up this mass over here. So these are these will be shadow patterns in this, this uh, grass that's uh, brown. And I'm picking up a little bit of uh, a little bit of burnt sienna, kind of mix, uh, change the color just a little bit. So 
So these these are just shadows on the on the ground on the grass and this brown grass. And all I'm doing is dragging a knife, loading a knife up with color and just dragging it across the, the the surface. Okay. All right, let me see. Uh, now I think what I'll do is uh, I'm going to add, let's see, I'll figure out what paddle knife I want to use. It doesn't matter. Uh, I think I'll use the edge one. I like the edge one better. So I'm going to use this edge to wipe off the blade. And I'm going to pick up a little bit of uh, darker mix here. It's going to be a little bit of blue. Mixed in with that uh, quinacridone violet. And I'm going to pr bring in some darker darker values in here. Just got to break this up down here. Shadows. These will be shadows and just marks in the foreground. So I'm just scraping, I'm just put, picking up uh, paint out with a brush or with a, a knife out of the palette and uh, going and just scraping the paper uh, using a flat stroke, just laying the knife down flat. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use a corner and uh, kind of make some marks here again. Just what I'm doing now, you can see some of those darker marks showing up. Uh, it, the paint is... It, the paint, the paint pigment's wet, so now it's going to show up as dark against light, which is what I wanted to do, and light against dark. Okay, a little more texture there, and. Um, The only thing that the only thing I could do to improve a little bit would be the uh, center part, and I think what I'll do is pick up a little bit of. The last thing I'm going to do is pick this little section in here is white, this uh, yellow ochre area. I'm going to pick up a little more yellow ochre. Lay it out with a knife. Okay, so when you use a palette knife, you, I, I, I spread the paper, I spread the palette knife, I mean, spread the paper, uh, the pigment out on the, on the palette, and I load the knife from the side, I'm going to use this, I'm going to use this flat one, this large flat knife, and I'm going to drag this across here again, I'm going to re-wet this, give a little more, a little more texture up here is what I want, so I'm going to re-wet that area just a little bit with some drops from the Palette and a bottle dot sprayer, and then I'm gonna load it with uh, yellow ochre because that's the color I have here, yellow ochre. Just lay it, lay, lay it in the color, and I've got it loaded. You can see it loaded with with paint, and I'm just gonna drag it across there very lightly. Give me some texture. And break up that, break up that mass there. I still want the light color, but I want a little more. I want more texture in there. So I'm, bu I'm building texture just by dragging a knife across there uh, in a haphazard way, uh, in a horizontal motion uh, to show it's a flat surface. I'm kind of breaking that up to give me a little more, a little more texture in this area here. It's still a lighter color. It's got that yellow ochre color, but it's, it's now it's going to have a, a, a much more interesting pattern. into the middle ground.
Okay. All right. I'm going to leave, I like the lighter colors, leaving some of the lighter colors there. I don't, I don't like to cover up everything because I want to leave some, some white sparkle here in the painting. But I wanted, I wanted to reduce some of that real uh, light area, which was the, uh, and not, not, not using brush work, but using a palette knife work, just going in now and adding little, little, little textures here around the impact there. The impact there is in this area right here. This part, of the, this part of the painting is right here. This tree and this little, uh, this bare tree and so forth. This is really the impact area of the painting. This section right in here. Uh, so this section right here is where your eye will go. Because that's where I got most of the, most of the uh, detail and a lot more, a lot more going on in that section there. And I'd say I might go in now and put just a few more marks in that section now that I've, I've identified the impact area. Uh, I'm gonna load up, load up the palette. I got the water now in the palette. I'm picking up some of this dark blue and purple mix. And I'm gonna go in and put some more, I'm gonna put some more uh, texture in his tree here just by dragging Some more limbs up there. This, this, these trees have lots of limbs. So now I'm really emphasizing that. This is the impact area. So this is where I want the, the eye to go. And then I'll, I'll have, I'll add a few more to the other trees just to, just to balance it out a little bit. These trees here are also. So this little pointed knife uh, with uh, with lots of with lots of paint on it from the palette. I used I mixed it with quite a bit of water, so it, it flows nicely. Uh, and I'm kind of cleaning up some of those uh, branches to make sure they all match married together. This little tree out here to leave all by itself. It needs a little more, it needs more branches. It needs more, it needs more attention out here on the end. And uh, it's going to have little, little more branches out here on this side. Okay. Uh, okay, I think I finished with it now. Okay, so uh, really, it takes to to use a palette knife. It takes a little bit of practice, learning how to load the uh, learning how to load the palette knife, and also how how to scrape it on a on a, a piece of paper. Uh, but essentially, it's pretty simple. Uh, I'll take a blank piece of paper here, and you take just take this smaller knife here, load it, and then you can drag it. Across the paper, load it, drag it across the paper. And then if you if you want to use the point, make sure it, the uh, if you use the point a little bit of a palette knife, you make sure you have a little more water in the mix because so it can flow. And you load the brushes, you load the palette knife the same way. Just lay it right into the lay it right into the puddle, load up that end, and then come in and you and you just hold it vertically and then draw your lines okay and I think the my favorite one is this is this angle this angle blade here which I have uh, which covers a nice area 
and I can turn this one I can turn this one around and do all kinds of all kinds of shapes with it and don't be afraid to don't be afraid to scrape that out uh, and do all kinds of uh, in directions up and down to the left and right and so forth okay so that's, that's enough to show you that how to use the pellet knife and uh, what I think what I'll do now is let's, let's put a mat around this and see what it looks like. Let's put a mat around it. So that's the uh, paddle knife painting uh, matted. And uh, I think it turned out very good. I, I got lots of texture here in the foreground with the grass growing up. Texture here in this uh, the, de the, the brown grass and then of course the uh, the trees themselves the texture of those bare trees next to the evergreen trees and with a real light background low low background trees and of course the, the sky in the background all done with a palette knife little spray bottle the dot spray bottle I used just to wet the paper so I could spread the paint out a lot easier dot spray bottle and the palette in the bottle dot sprayer so let's go to my let's go to my main camera. Hey, <laughs> another fun day by Everest Watercolors. Uh, Paddle knives, I, it's just a lot of fun. As I say, I went out I, plain air last weekend. I took my small painting kit with me and a couple of palette knives, and I did a small I did a small painting. In fact, let me I'll show it to you. Uh, I'll take you back to the overhead. Uh, that's the one I did uh, on location with uh, just my uh, sketch pad, my field sketch pad, and uh, a couple palette knives, and of course paint. So uh, that that's my inspiration, and then uh, uh, once I did that, I said, "Well, I mean, I already planned on showing the demonstration of palette knives, but it, you know." Uh, number one, you have to find a subject that's uh, uh, appropriate for palette knives. I think uh, landscapes, which would be trees and bushes and stuff like that. Uh, I've got other I got other palette knife paintings that I've done. I'm going to put those probably uh, on on live, not live, but I'll have them on as a rebroadcast. I got a couple I got I did with a palette knife. So, but palette knives are very very nice to but. Watercolor is probably unusual because most people use oils or, or acrylics and stuff like that. But it can be used with watercolor, which I just demonstrated here. And uh, you can get lots of texture out of it and lots of, lots of expressionism, expressionism of a, for a painting. So that uh, concludes today. Uh, I'll be back again next Thursday. It'll be January. We're going to be in 2024. Uh, I'll be back next Thursday at uh, 2 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, and I'll be back. I'll be back this evening at 7:30 with simply drawing with Everett. At 7:30 p.m. this evening, and I'm going to draw. I'm going to be drawing a glass with some water in it. So you might be interested in that, and uh, I, I invite you to check it out and uh, invite you to tune in tonight at 7:30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I'll be back next week, and until then, uh, Happy New Year, and uh, Gloria and I will say goodbye. So bye for now. 